you see how much it hurts them to not be playing and you see how desperate they are to be uh, back fit and back involved and you see how hard they work as well, you, you, you really see a different side of, of a player when they're on a real long term injury. It's a really important part of our, our program because at any given time we've, we've always got some players injured so pretty much what happens is, is the, the three departments, athletic performance, medical and, and then the rugby department, we come together on a Monday and we map out um, the progress of, of any of the guys that are injured and a lot of the time it's the long term guys that we're looking at their progressive plan but there's also the short term guys that are maybe out for a couple of weeks just um, and we discuss in, in a bit of detail what, what, how, the, how the medical side of things is going, how they're progressing athletically and, and then from a rugby point of view what are they capable of doing that we can, um, that we can work on. I just broke my hand there in the last pre-season game, um, got an operation a few weeks ago to fix it and uh, rehab's going pretty well. So we've obviously got a, a pretty good setup in terms of the rehab and the physio work. So I've been working with Simon and uh, Pete and stuff and obviously working on getting my hand back. But also we've got some good athletic performance development stuff. So I've been doing personally quite a lot of speed and agility work as well as got a bit of conditioning and some gym that I can do working around my hand. So uh, yeah, just trying to improve on anything that is not affected by the injury. You know, we put a big emphasis that when you are injured, the initial thing is this great disappointment that you're injured and you're not able to play. But we look at it as a great opportunity to, um, and, and that's, that's a big part of my job, right? What, here's an opportunity for you now to, to pick on, on something that hasn't been going particularly well and let's try and get really, really good at it and, um, and improve it. And, and, and let's try and, when you return to play, that becomes a, a strength. From my point of view, I look at like Sir Luke Marshall last year, you know, um, coming back from his ACL, um, which was nine months um, out of the game. He was passing at about 62% accuracy before he got injured um, the previous season, and when he came back in the, in the sort of last quarter of the season last year, his pass percentage was up at about 80%, and that was, you know, he was four times a week working really hard on his on his pass. So um, it's that sort of progress that we want to get out of the opportunity that being injured offers. There's a great deal of satisfaction that what we're doing in our program is, is working, that Luke can come back into the, you know, into a European quarter-final, physically be right on it, his skills were really good and, and he obviously scored a try which was nice on a comeback too. I'm about two and a half months post-op now, um, so probably another five and a half months till, till I'm back fit. The likes of Marcel Gutsia and Luke Marshall have come back and they've both sort of kicked on, played a really good standard rugby, so I'm hoping to be able to do the same thing come sort of beginning of next year. I'd say the injured boys hard out of the day kind of thing. So every day we we have some we'll have skills for half an hour with soaps, which is always good. It always sort of takes your mind off the injury, and have, it's good to have a bit, a bit of a laugh, a bit of fun, um, and also improve your skills as a player as well. It can be a bit of a depressing time when you're not playing and you want to be training and playing and stuff. So. Having a coach there who can work specifically with what you can do and improve on certain things and it tends to be quite fun as well so it's a, it's a bit of a morale boost for everyone. It's about looking at what you can improve rather than what you're, uh, what you're not able to do so that when you get back you can implement the stuff you've been working on so even if, you're, uh, if you haven't been doing everything you have certain small things that you can bring into your game when you get back. Obviously in terms of skills it's quite hard with a hand injury but in terms of coordination stuff like tennis ball work, just one-handed stuff, uh, trying to pass and catch with one hand, uh, and then just sort of reaction time training and alertness stuff. That, that's what I've been sort of doing for the last while. One, two, four. Being in, injured and on a on a rehab program for that long can be um, 
can be pretty tough. And so also a part of the, the skeleton element is, you know, you've seen this morning was pretty light-hearted and, and a lot of competitive wee games and that sort of thing. And um, that gives them something that releases a bit of stress as well and, and it's something just to um, have a bit of crack in their, in their week as well, which they, they often look forward to.